supposed to allocate them equally. Everybody would rather just leave and keep their own right. and not have to bear the burdens. And that's probably true, yeah. I hadn't thought about that, yeah. Uh, in this context of pain and suffering, uh, I've often thought that uh, for me, I have a hard time thinking of heaven being heaven um, if I have to remember or be around certain people who <laughs> claim to be Christians and uh, have caused such pain and suffering in my life. Yeah. And uh, I just don't want, I don't want to think about trying to remember them or their circumstances yeah. or whatever. I think the only God does some sort of lobotomy. Yeah, <laughs> a lobotomy. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a lobotomy, but it'll be a change of perspective. And be spi and by the way, there are going to be a lot of people who are annoying now who'll be there, but I think their annoying features will be gone. You know, you've all heard the phrase. To uh, live above with the saints we love, well, that, that will be glory. But to live below with the saints we know, well, that's another story. And the fact is, all of us need change a lot. And all of us, warts and all, those things are going to have to be changed. Because we all do stupid and annoying things. So all of us need a major change and a, indeed a purgation. So that there, um, people that are annoying to me now... I don't think will be annoying to me there because that stuff will be removed. And furthermore, I do believe that our memories will be healed. We will see them as God saw them. Even in this world, even in this life, it's possible for some memories to be healed because we begin to see that Jesus was there with us and he overcomes that. And that may be a hint of what will become uh, universal there where I believe we will be satisfied. We will see things as God saw them. We'll even see ourselves, to be honest with you, the most chilling thing about the um, great white, not the great white throne, you don't want to be there, uh, the Bema, the judgment seat of Christ, which is not a judgment of condemnation but of rewards. And while it is a judgment of rewards, I'm chilled by it because I realize there are going to be perhaps two things that uh, I can see. One is the sin of unused potential that I may discover. And then secondly, I may see my sin for the first time as he saw it. And that's not a fun thought before that's purged. But the fact is, though, that uh, it, I still long for it because I want to get rid of all that baggage, that thing that Paul calls the flesh, the uh, habits and, and beliefs and attitudes and behaviors that still are very much possible for me to commit every day of my life, that I still have this possibility of living uh, in my, as I did in my B.C. days before I knew Jesus. And so it, it's that understanding. Um, let me see. Shall I draw things to a close, David? You see, I don't have Henry here. I think so. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Close your book, please. Wait, wait. He, yeah, he didn't close his book. Okay. I, I tell you what I'll do. Um, I'm going to move on from here. Um, there are a lot of issues, and we'll come back to some of these issues, but I want to talk about other aspects of this matter, of why God allows these things to occur. I want to give a lot of biblical illustrations. I want to gain insights and perspectives by looking at the various characters in Scripture. I want to look at Job's life and Joseph, and I want to look at Daniel, and I want to look at Paul and the life of Christ, and to see what perspectives and illustrations do we see mediated through these stories so that we can get an orientation. But if I were to summarize everything we've been talking about so far, I would say that we live without all the answers. We live in mystery. We can gain perspective to some degree, but it will not answer our every question. But we do not understand why it is that some things happen to some people and some to others. But the question of why do bad things happen to good people can just as well be turned around. Why do good people things happen to bad people? Uh, yes. Uh, wait, he, wait. He's he's. Uh, we're not having any more questions. After the time. Yeah, I'm sorry. Tom is Tom is over. Um, okay. Well, he's he's gonna he's gonna get he's it in no matter what. Yeah. He's gonna go for it, John. Make it short. Georgia Tech. They teach. Jesus I'm going to push you. Flooding rivers with a bunch of sandbags. And out smart Mother Nature. 